Hi guys, welcome to the video. My name is Chelsea and I'm working with Girl Scouts of West Central Florida to show you guys some projects that you can do at home. Today we're working on a STEM project, which is the Discovery Propulsion Rocket. This kit is really cool because it's powered by baking soda and citric acid and it's supposed to soar up to 30 feet in the air. This kit is available for $16.99 at the Girl Scout Leadership Center store in Tampa. Our address, email, and phone number is in the description below. Shipping right now is free. Normally shipping is $5, but right now it's free. So go ahead and contact us now for your rocket. In the box, you have a launch pad, a stopper, a nose cone, the rocket fins, a reaction tube, a plug, the body of the rocket, a sticker sheet, and a cool poster. Now that we have all of our materials ready, let's get started. The first step is to take the body of the rocket and the nose cone and just slide the nose cone onto the rocket. And then you're going to do the same thing with the rocket fins. The next step is to take your reaction tube and your stopper and you're going to put the stopper on the long end of the reaction tube and slide it all the way down. Alright, once you've done that you can set that to the side and next you're going to decorate your rocket with your stickers. Some things that you need that are not included in the box are a measuring scoop, baking soda, and 5 eighths cup of white vinegar. Now that we've made and decorated our rocket, it's time to make it fly. All right guys, so it's a few days later. The weather kind of got a little muggy outside. It was raining, but today it's bright and it's sunny. So it's a perfect day to launch our rocket have all of the ingredients that we need to launch it. Okay, so the first thing we're asked to do is to take our reaction tube and run it under water. So I have a bucket of water here. I'm just going to get it nice and wet just like that. And then it said you want to fill the whole reaction tube with baking soda. And remember to use baking soda and not baking powder.
filled it up all the way and then you want to add your stopper to the top just like that okay so now that you've gotten baking soda into your reaction tube you want to move that out of the way and then you can bring the white vinegar over and your rocket and you want to pour 5 8 cups into the rocket so if you have a quarter cup that's two quarter cups and then half of a quarter cup to make an eighth so that would be 5 8 Okay, so we have our vinegar in our rocket and we have our baking soda in our reaction tube. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your reaction tube and put it into the vinegar and take it and get it as far into the rocket as possible. Just like that. And you wanna place it on your launch pad. So as you can see, the vinegar reacted with the baking soda. And it caused a lot of pressure inside of the rocket and it caused the rocket to propel off of the reaction tube and into the air. And here it is. And you are able to launch your rocket multiple times. All you have to do is rinse it out with water Rinse off your reaction tube, measure everything out again, and launch it over and over.
so we just shot off our propulsion rocket for a second time and now I'm going to go over some reasons why you might have a little bit of trouble with your propulsion rocket. So the first problem you might face is if it takes a very long time for your rocket to shoot off and that's because this reaction is temperature dependent. That means the temperature has to be just right for it to launch at an appropriate time. So if it's cold where you are, and it's really cold outside and your vinegar is cold, try heating up your vinegar in the microwave for five seconds. No more. Only five seconds. Come back and try the reaction again. If your vinegar is too cold, it might take a lot longer for the reaction to happen. So what if your rocket isn't launching very high? It's only launching a few feet or about 10 feet up in the air and you want it to go higher. Here's the reason. Check your reaction tube and see if there's baking soda left. If there is, that means your reaction was not finished when the rocket went off. So if you look inside your reaction tube and you see that there's baking soda still left in the tube, that means your reaction did not finish before the rocket launched. And here's how you can fix that. At the top, you have the stopper. That's what slows down the reaction. Make sure it's on properly and try it again. If it's still not working the way that you want it to, take the stopper off and try it without the stopper. But you have to be careful. That will cause the reaction to happen all at once. It will happen very quickly. So once you insert the tube and you put it on the stand, get out of the way because it will happen very, very quickly. So what happens if your rocket isn't launching? This end of the tube needs to be inserted all the way into the rocket. If it's not tight enough, it may not launch. So make sure you're pushing this end in as far as it will go. Ask a parent for help if you need it. And last but not least, what if the rocket is launching sideways or going at an angle? If that's happening, that means this end piece is on crooked. Make sure once the reaction is complete, once your rocket has launched, then you can fix it before launching it again. Do not try to stop a rocket from launching. You want to take this and make sure, use your parents' help if you need it, to make sure this is on correctly on the reaction tube, and then your rocket will launch correctly. I hope you enjoyed building and launching the Discovery Propulsion Rocket with me. If you like the video, come back for more videos like this. Make sure to make the world a better place and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Bye guys.